welcome back, Daisy is here from IT Connection. Today's tips and tricks will discuss group chat on Microsoft Teams and why it is vital. Teams' search and its user numbers significantly over the past few months. The company reported 75 million daily active users by the end of April 2020. As your Teams and company operation expand, it is very effective to name all your group chats, making it easier to keep track of the conversations and by all means to prevent any confusion. To name a new group chat, go to New Chat at the top of your chat list. Click on the drop-down arrow next to the To field and enter a name in group name. Or you can also rename a group chat at any point by going to Name Group Chat. If you're on more than a few group chats and that you're probably receiving thousands of chats every day, you might want to start pinning your most used ones to make it way easier for you to navigate conversations. To pin a chat, select More Options and choose Pin. Afterwards, you can drag a pin chat into the order you prefer to access. But there's a limit of 15 for pin chats, so it is best to make sure that you pin the most important ones or you can always unpin a group chat once you don't need them. Another fascinating feature is that Teams enables you to opt in how much chat history to allow when you add participants to a group chat. You just have to click on View and Add Participants in the top right corner. Then tap on Add People. You'll then be able to see the three options here. And you can even adjust how many days of chat history you'd like to share with the newly added participant. Last but not least, there are two ways of sharing your files into your group chats. First is by highlighting a file going to More Options and selecting Copy Link to paste the link directly in the chat. Or alternatively, you could always simply upload your file via chat. So that's it, very simple yet efficient. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.